So I'll be making some drawers, about 15 drawers, in the workshop uh, to go in my Mitosol cabinet, and that'll be all made out of plywood. Since I use Fusion 360 instead of SketchUp, I don't have an easy way to do a cut diagram as Fusion 360 doesn't do that. Instead, I use MaxCut, and this is the free community edition. It has some limitations on uh, what you can output, but for a hobbyist, it works great. Over in the input items tab, we're going to add a new item. This will be the draw side. I'm going to make it 550 mil long as that's going to be deep enough for the uh, cabinet and the draw slides that I have are 550 mil. <coughs> I like to make my drawers for the workshop about 100 mil tall. If you go too tall, they can have a lot of stuff that gets just lost in there. So each drawer is going to have two sides and I'm going to make this out of some pine plywood. Now I've got some CD ply there. All I've done is created a new material so we can go add new material. Get rid of some of these. Actually I'll just add back in that plywood. So 12 mil plywood. And these sheets come in 2440 millimeters long and 1220 millimeters wide. It has green, which goes along the length there, which we don't need, to, I don't need to select the image, um, not for a cutting diagram. So we'll choose that. Now, the drawers, I don't really care on the orientation, it's plywood and it's for a shop project but if you did care you can swap these or you can give preference that the uh, direction matters that sort of thing so we go into advance uh, we can select rotate for no ground whatever for this that's outside the scope uh, and we need a back and a front my cabinets are 569 wide or the opening for it I should say is 569 wide but we need to take off the uh, one inch for the draw slides. So that's 543.6, but I'm gonna do a locking rabbit joint. So I'm gonna take off another 12 millimeters from that. And again, we're gonna have a front and back. So then, it, oh, we'll rename that draw. Front and back, so each drawer is gonna have two of those. Now I could copy and paste those and that would give me what I need, but an easier way is to group these into drawer. Now we need to duplicate that to get as many as what we want. In this case, it's going to be uh, 15. And there's not a great way that I have found to duplicate that many, so we've got five there so I'm just going to do it in groups of five and that's easy to duplicate. Now, as you can see there by adding an extra item it doesn't actually duplicate to all the stuff there so that's a little frustrating. These are copies of not uh, instances of. Not got a bottom so we should add that bottom to it. Uh, and I'm going to make that five three one 550. It'll be slightly smaller than that, but that's fine. I'm going to use a 7mm ply. Um, it's nice and cheap. <coughs> Alright, so all of these have draw sides, draw bottom, draw back front, that sort of thing. Nothing fancy. Go over to the Optimize Sheets tab, click Re-Optimize. It'll figure out all the cutting diagrams. And this is making a few assumptions. One, that the blade thickness is 3mm, and I'm going to leave it as that. It's a little bit larger than what my blade thickness on the track saw or on the table saw is, but it's not bad to have that as is. So we're going to need four sheets of plywood, or really just one and a half of the 12 mil, and then the rest is just the bottoms. Now there's a few ways we can optimize in max cut. So normal optimization looks pretty similar actually. But if I was to cross cut this sheet, you can see that I'd have to stop uh, early. So there's one thing that is quite nice about max cut is the multi, the options to optimize. So say cut that piece off down this line, 
down this line, rip that at the table saw then. Uh, for me, it's all about using the track saw as much as possible to break the sheet down to then go to the track to the table saw to get the best optimization. Lastly, one thing that I found with a lot of the SketchUp plugins for their cut list, they don't produce a particularly good layout diagram for when you actually want to take it to the workshop. So if we go to job layout two, I think it is, we print that to PDF. We've actually got quite a bit of information here now. Not all of this is needed, but we've got a nice little uh, table there. All the parts are labeled nicely. It tells us the grain direction, how many of this particular sheet occurs. So in a bigger job, say we had 30 um, draws to do, there might be several pages that are the same. Uh, this sort of information cannot be overly customized in the community edition, but it is free. So, you know, you sort of take that with a grain of salt. So this is how I do my cut list optimization for plywood specifically. This won't work with solid wood. MaxCut is available for free, but it is only on Windows, so those of you who have chosen to go for Mac or Linux, I'm sure you can find something else. Thanks for watching.